Online class listing tables are highly customizable. You can create separate listing tables using filters, hide or show certain columns, sort the listings in a particular order, and more. Let's look at filtering. To get started, you'll need to understand the basic online class listing table, which includes 12 columns of class information displayed in this order. The basic online class listing table will be used as your starting point. To begin creating your customized URL, go to a cheat sheet for customizing your online class listing tables in our Help Center. Copy the URL for the direct link and paste it into a new browser window. Replace the X's at the end of the URL with your own organization ID. To determine your organization ID, go to the gear icon, Settings, Online Registration. This URL provides your basic online class listing table. Filters can be used to show only a specific group of classes by adding parameters to the URL. Each parameter consists of a variable and a value separated by the equal sign. Multiple parameters can be included when separated by the ampersand symbol. Variables are the filters available for you to use, including category 1, 2, and 3, class days, gender, instructor ID, location, room, and session. After choosing a variable you would like to filter by, you'll need a value. Values come from your Jackrabbit system. For example, if you are using category 1 as a variable, your value might be ballet or hip-hop. You may use a combination of as many of the variables as needed to filter the group of classes shown on your online class listing tables. However, each variable can only be used once, and with the exception of the category 1, 2, and 3 parameters, only one value can be paired with each variable. Category 1, 2, and 3 variables can be paired with multiple values when separated by a vertical line. To filter for a certain day, at the end of your basic URL, type ampersand class days equals, and then type the day you wish to filter for. Next, add more parameters if you wish. For instance, you could filter these Monday classes further by adding a parameter for category 1. This gives a table of classes that meet on Monday with a category 1 of ballet. Repeat this process and make a new URL for each group of classes you wish to display. Once you're ready to add your online class listing tables to your website, there are two methods to do so. If your website editor does not support JavaScript and asks for a hyperlink, website URL, or website address, you can simply use your customized URL as a link or in an iframe. If your website editor supports JavaScript, you can embed your tables directly on your website. To do so, you'll want to start by copying this JavaScript code. Next, copy your org ID along with any parameters that you included in your customized URL and paste it into the code to replace the X's. Use this code to embed your online class listing tables onto your website. Refer to our Help Center for more information.